Awesome. Pamela, I like to end all of my interviews with three big picture questions. You got them in you? Okay. Awesome. First thing, you, you mentioned you bounced around a little bit when you were younger, but you said you love Rochester, you gained so much from it. So I'd like you to answer this. What about Rochester makes it such a great place to learn and to be what, and what makes it a good launching off point for people? Well, I, I'm fond of saying Rochester is the largest small town I've ever seen. And uh, it's all the wonderful things that come with a, a small community, a tight knit community where it's like a family. Uh, and and uh, that kind of relationships and support, um, they're incredibly important. And, you know, people are very community minded. It, it is small enough so that that's, that's true. Uh, but at the same time, you know, world class capabilities, uh, both technically um, and in industry and academia. So it's, it's a wonderful place to be from. We touched on this a couple different times in different ways. Pamela, you have accomplished so much in your career, but as your career is still going, if you could accomplish one thing and be, knowing, and be happy knowing that you accomplished it, you could hang up your coat, call it a day, what would that one accomplishment be? Oh, I don't think I, well, that's a great question. You know, I'm not sure I'm ever going to hang up my coat. Because <laughs> a lot of people would say uh, maybe he's commanding the space shuttle would have been that one thing. But that's just not enough for me. I think really um, what I would like to spend um, time doing is uh, advancing the technologies and seeing us return to the moon. That is going to be deeply satisfying to me to see us not return to the moon like Apollo, which was a camping trip, but return to stay and to, to actually uh, be able to do the science and get the insights from actually living and working on a, the surface of another, another, uh, of another planet. If you have any advice for any young aspiring scientist or explorer, what would it be? Um, it would be to um, to basically, you know, pursue interests. You know, it, it, you know, people talk about following your passion, and I think it's maybe gotten into an overused uh, word. Uh, I, I read a great article recently that talked about you find your passion in strange ways, and I know that certain things that I'm very interested in, I stumbled across because I had to learn about them for a job or, or something, and I wasn't init initially, you know, really necessarily very passionate about it. But um, when I, I, I think... I, okay, I, I think I do know what I want to say. What I want to say is go after things that have real impact in this world. Don't be satisfied to just evolve or stretch a little bit from what is known today. Look around and say, I want to work on the big problems. I want to try to solve big problems that really matter that affect a lot of people. And, and I think that's that, that our scientists today should be working on those. Pamela, thank you so much for your time. It was an honor and an absolute pleasure to talk to you and get to know you a little bit. Thank you so much. I appreciate the interest. <laughs>